Howdy folks, and welcome back once more to Let's Play Might and Magic 3. I know I said that we were going to go into... into the, the caverns, and I intend to. But I want to give the town another once over to make sure that we haven't missed the, um, the portal key for this place, because ideally I would... Uh, Though this town be so entombed, its portal's name was changed to Doomed. Okay, so our portal is Doomed then. Because what I want to do, if we're going to be exploring the dungeon of this place, I really want to hit that, uh, the 20 level fountain, just to make things easier. So what we're going to do is, wizard eye, waddle our happy asses over, wrong way. Okay, and day just rolled over, so I want this. Go ahead and recast Wizard Eye. I'm gonna hit the mana hut here. I'm gonna hit the health hut, and then we're gonna port back tentatively. And uh, have a good time of clinging, clinging through a dungeon. Oh my god, crawling through a dungeon. Green Moss clings to the small stone well. Drink, sure. Mind has been magically expanded. Extra intelligence, more spell points for rogue. Which is situationally useful, although I think in this case it's probably not going to be worth anything. Okay, so, saved off of that, and... Back to Swamp Town. Alright, and we'll see what kind of hellscape we have down here. Go ahead and create rope. Okay, so let's go ahead and get light going. Oh, hey, that is a monster. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and save. I have a feeling I know what this monster is. I do. All right, this is Scorpia, and as you can see, it is a terrifying looking blob witch thing. Uh, for anyone who has followed these games, Scorpia was a reviewer in I think it was maybe Dragon Magazine, and it's one of the gaming magazines. It might have been like PC Gamer or something. Uh, Computer Gaming Monthly. Uh, anyways, she very poorly reviewed Might and Magic 2. Uh, and this is John Van Cunningham getting back at her because apparently he is a spiteful shit. So yeah, that shows you about all you need to know. And I believe there's only one of her in here. I think we'll fight more of those later. Colorful gems decorate the otherwise drab coffin. Do you wish to open it? Sure. Uh, chunk, the coffin is empty. The rotting wood easily falls away from the coffin. Do you wish to open it? Yes, chunk, empty. The symbol of the five forces are elegantly carved in the lid of the coffin. Do you wish to open it? Sure, chunk. Hey. The party found a dragon breath scroll. Why, yes. That is, that is some good death magic right there. Speaking of which, we never did, uh, we never did get into the guild. Oh, there are more than one. Alright, for whatever reason, I had it in my head that there was only the one in here. Alright, Chunk, keep working. Create food. Devon, can you take that? Yes, you can. Alright. Uh, not super useful, but it is what it is. And throw some healing. I believe those Scorpias throw AoE spells, but I don't remember what. Wow, alright, we can just down them with arrows if I get them at range. Nice. Oh, hey! Uh, 5,000 gold is a fee for, to mortals for membership in the Buzzards Guild. Will you pay the price? Yes, Rove. How much money do we have? Alright, so we have enough for one. Good to know that's down here, though. Uh, let's go ahead and... Where is... Jump! Just skip past... Ah... This trap in front of door shit is getting old. Mostly because Rove sucks, but... Petulance. Actually... Uh... Protection from elements... Electricity... Come on, guys. It wouldn't be as bad if my front row could fucking reliably break down doors. But they can't. Oh, hey! A Reaper. Alright, uh... Ooh, energy blast it. Turn undead. 
Wow. Okay. Um, I am going to heal Chunk. I, I was gonna say, I assume these things will probably focus on clerics. I wanna know, no, I wanna know what's on the other side of the wall, game. The wall. Break down the wall, you asses. Guys. Oh my lord. Alright, open the chest. Hey look, it's another reaper. I would have never guessed. Uh... I'm tempted. I'm gonna throw a holy bonus. Get some extra damage on the front row. And we'll just keep healing everybody. Nature's Cure is... doing work, I will say. Oh my god, these walls! It is infuriating! Another locked one. Yes. Okay, another locked door. Yeah, so I'm assuming then that all of these just have Reapers in them. Although they don't really seem to be that dangerous, all things considered. Go ahead and get a holy bonus on Chunk, and I guess on Swell, because Goldleaf really isn't doing too much else. Yeah, alright. Oh! To visit the town of the Fiery Plot, tell the mirror you seek Red Hot. Alright, so that's probably gonna be, I think, the last town, which if I recall correctly is actually like in the center of that giant volcanic lava area that we've seen. Guys, the doors! It's terrible! Oh my lord. Alright, so we can't get back there because my party, my front row, are fucking weak. Oh, we have a trio of Scorpias. Oh, uh, actually. Let's use Dragon's Breath, see how it works. 93 spell points. Oh, we get to pick fire. Alright, well, that nuked them down. We have more coffins, probably all full of Reapers. They're easy kills. Hey, that one had 10,000 gold in it. That's guild membership. Rancid air. Cursed my party. At some point, at some point, I'm going to have to go to the shop and, like, we have broken gear that I probably should be repairing, but I'm also a cheap, lazy ass, so. Yes. Yes. Alright, so that's everybody that matters with guild membership. Swell gets nothing. He's already got the spells that he's going to have that are going to be useful, unless we get stuff like Divine Intervention in here, which we might. How are we looking on money? 1,600 gold. We're broke. As it should be. Let's see, where was... Alright, here's the guild. Let's see... Let's see what we got. I'm curious. These are all terrible. Cure Paralysis is situationally useful. Blessed, blessed fucking town portal. Super Shelter can be handy. Teleport will actually let us ignore those doors. Alright, so we've got some spells here that we want. Good to know. Uh, did this town have a bank? I honestly don't remember. I don't think it did. Now that I think about it, I don't think any of the towns, less the first one, have had a bank. Uncursing, why you gotta be so expensive? I don't wanna pay that. I can't afford to pay that. Everybody in the party just gets their sad faces on until I, uh... Get us back home here really quick. Okay, let us go ahead and we're gonna have to sleep because bank hours. Draw gold and we'll pull, I don't know, 15,000 should suffice. There's not a lot of spells that we're going to be picking up. I don't think we're going to be even spending like 10,000 gold pieces on spells, but every little bit. We should also probably see if people can afford levels and all that. We might have a level or two among the party. Uh, but town portals are going to be, like, super, super, super helpful. Okay. Oh, this is not... Well, I mean, I guess we can check training. Well, there's a level. Uh, yeah, Rove is close-ish. Close adjacent. He'll get there eventually, maybe. I do not want to leave town. Come back here and nap. And buy spells. Notably, teleport. And. Blessed, blessed town portal. Alright, I'm gonna grab Cure Paralysis. Freaking AI going rogue in the background. Uh. 
Party to rest in an area otherwise precarious. I think what this lets you do is like you can cast this if like a monster is right in front of you and you can sleep. Uh, maybe we'll buy it. It might be helpful. But yeah, aside from that, none of this other stuff is really worthwhile. All right, so I suppose we'll probably sleep here again. Yeah, how's this? I'm sure he's not open during the night. And let's have a look, see how our gear's looking. Fix some stuff where where we need to. Our gear actually wasn't as badly beaten up as I thought, and most of the people whose stuff was broken don't really matter, so... Okay. Let's see, we want to sell this, we want to sell this, we want to sell this. Ancient artifact, ancient artifact. Uh, sell this, sell this. Ebony padded armor, oh my lord. That's probably, if I had to guess, that'll probably be useful for, um... Maybe Devon. Maybe. A Platinum Wakazashi. Probably not as good as an Ebony Trident. So based on how much it's worth, I'm going to sell it. And I forgot to equip him with his Brigand Ring. Oh, Swell broke his armor. Alright, so yeah, there's... Alright, that one was kind of a big deal. Pirate Scale Armor. I don't know if Chunk will be able to wear that. Probably not. That can go. That can go. These are keys and a silver charm. That might be like some extra defense. I did not mean to give that to Chunk, but whatever Chunk have at it. Sell that crystal plate. Sell the glass plate. Steel longsword, maybe. Probably not. And you. Uh, that can go. Steel Naginata. That might be good. A pearl spear. Alright. But now, because he's got what a golden short sword? Yeah. Alright, let's see what this thing is. Plus 3, 9 to 15. Plus 4, 10 to 14. Alright, so they're both the same average damage, but the gold has a better to hit, so that is what he's gonna use. Steel Naginata! 11 to 21 with a plus 3. Plus 4. Ooh, I'm gonna make that trade. Uh, and the pirate scale. Uh, he can use it, and it's plus 25 thievery. What is he? He's currently wearing iron scale. Alright, nice. So his thievery is actually gonna go quite a bit here, and I'm probably just gonna have Devon equip both of those. Alright, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Silver Flamberg. Flambergs are pretty good. It's That is definitely gonna be better than that Grand Axe she has. The upgrade get. Nice. And we're actually coming out of here with more money than we came in with. That's pleasing. Okay. That was honestly relatively painless. Uh, you're good. You equip that, equip that, and that, and that. You equip that, and you equip those. Wonderful. And we have some more silver skulls to one day, maybe turn in, we'll see. And we have these ancient artifacts that I should probably also be doing something with. So how are we looking here? 24 AC? Do I see his thieving? 92! Not bad. Fucking AC of 45 on Swell. That's that, that's all that obsidian armor though. Devon with his thunderous AC of 7. Truly he is mighty and Rove with his munificent sum of 11 hit points. Okay, well, let's, uh... I wanna, I wanna go back into the, the dungeon. I just have to remember how to get there. Here, let's... Let's wizard eye. Uh, and I wanna see how we do, like, doing this at level. I'm sure we're gonna get our asses beat, but... Eh, perspective. I bet those Reapers will just absolutely murder murder the shit out of us. I also want to... protection from elements, electricity, and let's get... We'll only do the buffs that we are capable of doing on our own, so heroism... And... We'll 
lovely bonus. Alright, and now Gold Leaf is out of spell points and effectively worthless. Wow. Good job, guys. Okay, we need Rove, because otherwise we can't get past doors because my front row is fucking weak. But with Rove, we can just- Seriously, the spell's failing? Ah! One job, bro. One job. You can't even do that. Alright, well then I guess until we find some way to crank our strength scores up, we don't really have anything else that we can do here. That's actually quite irksome, if I'm being honest, but it's the way of things. Sadly, we don't have any spells that'll like crank up our, our stats at all. Uh, so I'm going to save. We're gonna heal Rove, and we'll step outside and see how we fare in the swamps. This is like Death Swamp or whatever. I know there are killer trees out here somewhere. Oh hey. The fuck are you? A Shadow Rogue. It looks like he's wearing like some shades or something. I don't know what that is even supposed to be, but those are pretty clearly his eyes blinking above. Goofy looking. Alright, we've got some Death Locusts. Alright, our front row seems to be quite capable here, though. At least, oh yeah, our front row's butchering these things. What have we here? Soggy branches joined by vines form a rickety hut. Enter? Sure. A beautiful and sad princess sits in a chair staring out a window by the side of the hut. Will you present yourself? Sure. Well. I have endured a most cruel curse and my soul can no longer summon the strength to weep. Only when I have given an abundance of love may I exit this hut of despair to the light of day. I pray thee, bring me the lofty emotion that I lack if it be in your heart to do so. Okay, so if I recall correctly to do this, there's actually a debuff you can get in this called like Love Struck or something, and you have to bring an NP or like you have to bring a character to her while having that debuff, and she'll pull the debuff off of them, and that will do what needs to be done. So, well, can you heal anybody? You have Cure Wounds, you have Power Cure. You get Devon back on his feet, that's all I need. Power Cure is like super overkill, but sometimes it's just what you gotta cast. I'm sure we're gonna get ganked. Oh, there's something out there, I just saw something move. Tree golems! Alright, so that's what the, these goofy looking fucking things are. They have a lot of health, apparently. Alright, front row. Front row has it, though. Quicksand. Oh! Wow! The front row apparently does not have it. We are wussing out back to town. Yo, dog. Not cool. Uh, not gonna bother with Devon. I will heal Rove, because if there's quicksand, I'm sure we can probably levitate over it. Also, occasional death magic is handy. Uh, let us get levitate going. Does he have any other buffs that are actually- does he have, like, um, I was gonna say power shield. God, these single target buffs are killing my soul. Holy shit. I'm curious to see what that does to his defense, though. Uh, AC's still one. I wonder if it's just- it might just be, um, flat damage mitigation. I can never remember. Well, he survived an attack, so my assumption is that it's flat damage mitigation. <laughs> okay. Soggy branches. Oh, Ziltar the Wise. The Vampire King dwells in the Tomb of Terror, where he rules over an army of undead creatures equaled only by the legions of the Mu Cult. He forever seeks to expand his domain. Okay, yeah, Rove is su surviving multiple attacks. Power shield is apparently pretty good. Good to know. Yeah, front row is... yeah, okay. So power shield needs to become something that I regularly cast then, apparently. Oh, it's interesting, this little hut isn't on the minimap. Normally little places like that that you can enter, they throw them on the minimap. I also know that I have to be careful out here because if I recall correctly, this is the area where trolls are. And if our last encounter with trolls was any indication... What the ever-loving Jesus. Trolls are bad. Something sparkles beneath the water's surface. Retrieve it? Sure. <laughs> 25,000 gold and a bunch of loot, and Devon just fucking dies. Sure. A worthwhile trade. I don't know what those are, but we're gonna go back- <laughs> We're gonna go back to town and res Devon. 
and probably sleep. Assuming people won't die. Yeah. You got like poison or insanity party wide or something, but. The fucking Devon. Oh my lord. I don't even know. I just I just don't. I got nothing. This fucking dipshit. Okay. Uh what time is it? 6 p.m. Alright, so we're not gonna buff because it's gonna be getting night soon. I do not wanna leave. I will however rest. Still don't want to leave. I want to rest until morning. There we go. And save, and now we will buff. Okay, I need to get more, um, more mana for Gold Leaf. I gotta crank her personality up. It feels like they're being very stingy with, like, the stat boosts in this compared to Zine. I, or I may just not be getting them, which is probably another part of it. I know... Those crystal caverns, there's the humming crystals. There's a dude we can pay in there to recharge the crystals, but I think it's like 500 or 5,000 gems or something to do it. Which... Eh, a little much. Okay. I'm just pleased that we have enough mana between party members that we can keep the front row buffed. Because they're the ones, at this point in time, essentially doing all of the heavy lifting. Okay, get out of here. Dang, loci. Locusts. Be gone. Ah, there goes Ro. He's probably ready to level, now that I think about it. Anything in the mountains? Ah, that's what I want. 50,000 gold! Holy shit. A bunch of gear. How is the gear that we're picking up here? Mmm, not bad. Some of it's decent. Broken armor, gold crossbow. I don't know if anybody can use these. Yeah. Uh, that is probably, though, I think better than a lapis short bow. Pearl ring is, I think, some armor. So we'll have him wear that. That stuff's junk. Steel belt? What does he currently have? An amber belt. Don't know which of those is better. Pearl necklace? What is he wearing there? A lapis pendant. That's resistances. Let's see if these do crank defense. AC 45. Two. Nope, still AC 45. Alright, it's vendor trash. Good to know. Silver plate, silver belt. Those are... Those might be defense. Let's let's find out. 45. Uh, we'll have him throw in the silver one. 44. Okay, so yes. Belts will give him AC. So we can pass these down. See who can wear what. Got room for a belt? You do. What about you? No, you have one. What are you wearing? Crystal. Probably better. Here you go, Devon. Have some survivability. Oh, hey. Where'd you come from? We have to res our fail boat, badly. Gonna just heal everybody. Why not? Got fucking 87,000 gold in our inventory. Ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead and go home and deposit this before I forget. Uh, and then I am actually, I think, gonna go ahead and call this an episode. We can spend next time kind of roving over the landscape and seeing what those weird humanoid enemies that we saw were. I'm curious. Ozzy gold, and we will just throw 80,000 in. God, we have so many gems, too. There. Alright, but on that note, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. So, as per usual, folks, thank you for watching. I hope y'all had a good time, and I will see you all next time when the adventure continues. Until then.